All right, this is Joyce Latimer at Virginia Tech, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today about some of the new PGR resources that we have available for you. First of all, I know a lot of you still like print resources, so we still have a print PGR guide, and this is um, published as an insert in Grower Talks. It is funded by Fine Americas, and you probably have already seen the annuals guide, which came out in January of 2015. Now Brian Whipker did the annuals guide, and we alternate years. He updates that every odd year, and then I update a perennials guide every um, even year. So you can download the PDF of this of either of these guides at the eGrow website, and soon they will be coming to the Fine Americas website as well. The new guide is the Herbaceous Perennials Guide, which came out in January. If you're a subscriber to Grower Talks, if you haven't received it, you should be receiving that very shortly. And of course, it does have uh, lots of new information. We have actually added about 18 new crops this year, and of course, a lot of different cultivars as well. And again, that can be downloaded shortly. It's not quite up there yet, but it will be available on the eGrow site. I wanted to make note of some cooperation that Brian Wicker and I have with these guides. There are a couple of things that we update annually so that you get the newest information every time the guide is printed. And one of those is just the details on the available plant growth regulators. So you'll see a table and we have a table of the use and legal labeled uses for these products that's included in this article, again updated every year. We also update the dilution table to add those new products. So this dilution table is the back on the back cover of the guide, so it's easy to find and uh, just make it available to you. The other thing that we do each year is add a research report. Now, of course, you know, my research report is going to be on herbaceous perennials. Brian is going to be on research he's done with uh, annuals. So this year, research article is actually on maximizing the efficacy of colate in the greenhouse. And it's not just on using foliar applications, but also giving you more information on the trench work that we have done with colate. And that label amendment is in the process of being submitted. They expect it actually to be submitted in the next week or so to EPA. So hopefully sometime this year we'll actually be able to report to you that the drenches are legal uses of colate in the greenhouse. New in our guide this year is a one-page PGR use tip guide. And this is in the next to the last page in the guide, so you can always find it easily. This year, Ryan did a colate use tip, which again is just one page, everything you need to know to use the product um, effectively and safely both in terms of your own safety and the plant safety. So watch for this as we update this and add a new tip guide every year to our PGR guide. And of course, all of our guides are updated with the newest rate and application information. So as colloid trenches become uh, legal labeling, you'll see more of that included in these guides as well. And any other type of change in labeling can increase what we add to the guide in terms of application information. I know a lot of you also prefer online PGR resources. So I wanted to point out a few things that are on the eGrow website. New this year, we have added the eGrow mobile advisors for PGRs. So on the main eGrow page, if you will click anywhere on this bar that's circled in red, it will take you to our mobile advisor tools. Now the disease and insect advisors have been around for a while. About January or so, Brian put up the Floral Crops PGR Advisor, and this fall I put up the PGR Advisor for Herbaceous Perennials. Those are updated when we update the print guide. So this is essentially a searchable database. If you click on one of these, it will bring up a uh, drop-down menu where you can select the crop that you're interested in, and then it will show you the chemicals, the purpose, the rates, the precautions, all of the information that is in the print guide. So it is updated each time the print guide is updated and contains all the same information. Now there are some other mobile resources out there. Some of you are probably familiar with the PGR Mixmaster. 
This was actually developed when Brian Crude was still at the University of New Hampshire. And again, that was in cooperation with Fine Americas. With the operating system updates with the iPhone, we have lost capability of using that on the iPhone and iPad. But Fine has agreed to fund updating that this spring, so hopefully we'll have that available to you before the spring season. But that calculator is still available as a web-based calculator on the UNH site. And of course, this, this web link is in your handout, so you can still go and use this calculator on the web. OHP also has a plant growth regulator calculator, and it was also iPhone-based, and they suffered from the same issues that um, the Mixmaster did with the uh, iPhone uh, updates. My understanding is that they're going to be working on upgrading that this summer as well. So those are a couple mobile resources for you. Now, what if you're a beginner, or if you just really want more basic information? Well, Brian Whipker and I have created a publication called Selecting and Using Plant Growth Regulators on Floriculture Crops. Now, we did this as an iBook. That means that you can download it on your iPad, and if you put it on your iPad, you can see photo galleries, videos, and of course the tables, and a lot of the basic information on the products. So that's the best way to see it, is that as, as an iBook. That gives you the most functionality, gives you the, the videos, some basic videos on the products and how to use them, some application methods. But if you can't, if you don't have an iPad, you can still download a PDF of this, of this publication if you just want the information. Of course, it's not going to have as many pictures, not going to have the videos, but it will have a lot of good information on using PGRs on floricultural crops. And again, that is on the extension, Virginia Cooperative Extension website at the web link here. So we have a lot of different PGR resources available to you. We have them in print, we have them web-based, online, and of course some of our mobile apps are in process or you know, functional. What I would encourage you to do is watch for updates on these and other resources by signing up for eGrow Alerts. The subscribe link is here. We'd love to have you on board with eGrow Alerts as far as any updates both on our PGR resources as well as other resources. So I'd be happy to take any questions if there are any out there.